he's done the TV show and the now we're streaming. Okay. and the live stream. Hey everybody, it's Cindy Matalucci with The Pulse. Thank you so much for tuning in today to our live show. I am so excited. We have a fabulous show for you today, a very fun show. We have the guys from The Long Hairs here. I've got Chris Healy, Lindsay Barto, known as El Rubio and El Moreno from Cheap Long Hairs. How you guys doing? Doing great. Thanks for having us on today. We Pumped to be here. We're so excited to have you guys. I am such a fan of everything that you're doing. I mean, your company is amazing. But before we dive into the company and the movement itself, I want to kind of find out a little bit about your story and how you guys got inspired to create this company. Yeah, absolutely. So we run a digital agency also, and one day we were driving home from a client meeting and it was great and everything, but we were always thinking to ourselves, you know, what's our thing? And we were just driving and suddenly it was just crystal clear to us. It was hair ties for guys. And we were cracking up, and it was funny, it was punchy. Uh, it's a great idea, we thought so at least. Uh, so within seven days from that, we had a full production commercial video that we produced for hair ties for guys. And we we're super pumped, and we kind of realized, like, wait, we don't have any hair ties. Small problem. <laughs> Or a brand, or, or a, a product. market, <laughs> or guys to sell to, or anything. We, Literally nothing. We had a very cool video. This is <laughs> funny commercial and an idea, uh, but we had to okay, pump the brakes, take a few steps back, and we realized that it's more about why guys with long hair need hair ties for guys. Uh, partly because there's just nothing out there for men with long hair. So we took a few steps back and that's where we realized it was the long hairs was really the brand and the movement and what it was all about. And so that's when we really started creating content and that's really where the long hairs was conceived. Well, and I think it's really cool because I've, I've watched just about every video you guys have done, which they're fabulous, but you traveled. You didn't have long hair. You always wanted to have long hair. And then he traveled through, what, 28 countries and grew your hair out. So you actually became a man with the long hair. It was uh, not in the plan to grow my hair out. I was a 30 year long hair, life, uh, short hair lifer. And I did this trip around the world and I just let my hair grow. I didn't have any meetings or weddings to attend or any reason to cut it. So over that 11 month period, I just let my hair grow and it turned into basically a time lapse video of my hair growing out. And I didn't know about the long hairs at the time, but it turned out to be a, a great video that we were able to do for the blog. So super, super cool. You have to check that out. So when it comes to the long hairs, what I love about you guys is it's not really just a company and a brand. It's a movement. So let's talk a little bit about that because you guys educate, you celebrate, you advocate. Talk a little bit to the viewers about what you're doing. Yeah, so I mean, you hit it. Those are our, our three core things right there. Advocate, educate, celebrate. And really every piece of content that we create, every video that we do, it supports one of those things. And when we kind of came up with this idea and like really just scouring the internet, notice there's really nothing out there that is like there, there's a few sites definitely like there's some forums and stuff that are there for long hairs guys but nothing was really doing it with you know we felt like the kind of branding and quality of like cohesive pulling all these guys together and like let's do this yeah and, <laughs> you know be just guys about it and like it's like we're bros just sitting on the couch talking or drinking beers and stuff you know so that's really kind of our where we felt it, there was a, a hole kind of in the market. So that's where we stepped in and, you know, been really trying to build the brand with that idea and, and supporting those three core things with every piece that we do. Well, and you guys launched in December of 2014. So, but you guys have really, things have taken off. I mean, it's pretty exciting, everything that you're doing. Yeah, you know, when we, we launched, we had the... We got the logo done from a San Diego uh, graphic designer here, Randall Hollis. Shout out to our boy. He's San awesome. San Diego, shop local. Uh, but you know, when we launched the website, we had a big party for the website launch and everything. And it was great. It was in our studio. We had like definitely way past fire capacity. <laughs> it's a major liability probably, but it was a rager. It was awesome. Uh, but uh, you know, we launched the site and we only had a couple blog posts and our whole thing was just every week 
we're just never going to miss. We're just going to put quality, good stuff out there that's going to support these dudes who want to grow their hair out and don't have any idea what, you know, what they're up against or what they're about to have to deal with, you know? That's the biggest things we learned kind of growing it out was like, why, especially when you have short hair all your life, I did too, uh, you, you, start, you start getting the long hair and you realize like, okay, there's like maintenance, there's like major you issues and problems. Men, the like, men feel the female pain, uh, low, yeah. dry. <laughs> right, right. And you, you girls have been able to learn that your whole life screwing up. You have sisters, you're braiding each other's hair, if your mom's helping you out, you're always getting tips. You have like we have years resources. and years yep. of experience and help and everything. It gets passed down from the older ladies to the younger girls. So that's not really happening for dudes, you know? And it, we're, we're trying to be that, well, that I bridge. I love that. So you guys launched your Hair Ties for Guys. Now, this product is fabulous. Before we get into this, you brought us an exclusive sneak peek just for our viewers. We're so excited. They have this fabulous commercial. No one has seen this. Only you guys are going to see this. This is about 30 seconds and we're going to bring it to you right now. So check this out. Have you ever asked another man for a hair tie? No. You know why? Because it wasn't cool until now. Now you could get hair ties for guys. And guess what? Now it is cool. You love your hair in your face when you're trying to make a sandwich? No, you hate it. Makes you want to chop it off. But you're not gonna, because it's too cool, took you too long to go out, and you wear those locks like a Congressional Medal of Honor. You strut it. You let it ride and blow in the wind. But sometimes, it's a pain in the ass. So what are you gonna do? Tie it up. But you're a man with long hair. You're different. So why are you using the same hair tie as your little sister or your mom? Oh my God, dying right now. I cannot wait to see the whole thing. Like the scrunchy thing and the, like, I love it. So funny. So, so let's get That's into it. That's my dog it. too. Is so. that your dog? Yeah. Oh my God, it's so cute. Trained her for months just to be able to do that. <laughs> just to be se- cool down there. <laughs> <laughs> she nailed it. So how do you guys, let's talk a little bit about it because the hair ties, I mean, this is the product. This is like what you guys have. What's the difference? I mean, g- let's dive into this. Hair ties for men. So hair ties for guys is... Uh, that was the initial idea even before the long hairs and of course we launched the long hairs in December of 14 We didn't have any product really the the content was the cornerstone of our brand for the first year But we had this vision and this dream of doing hair ties for guys because if you have long hair What kind of hair ties are you using same thing as said in the commercial? You're using the same hair ties as your little sister or your mom and we should not be relegated to that We should have manly hair ties that are burly <laughs> and have shotgun shells and grizzly bears and waves and surfboards and other dope stuff for guys with long hair. No scrunchies, man. No scrunchies. I mean, you can use a scrunchie in a pinch if you have to, uh, but you try to avoid that. So that is the first question that we get every single time. What makes them different? Everyone wants to know. So there are really two key differences. One is the actual designs that you see on them. And we've got them all right here. Uh, So we've got American flags. Old glories. These are the old glories. These are the up all nighters. You've got martini glasses, beers, hops, stuff that guys are into. The Yaman, some Rastafarian designs. The shockers, lightning bolts. Of course, the outdoorsmen's with your safety orange shotgun <laughs> shells, and the Kokomo's here with your surfboards and your beach theme. Uh, so we have these six collections right now. We have a lot more that we're working on coming out with some new collections. But so the the visual design is more appealing to men than polka dots or stars or, you know, maybe some of the more girly designs. In addition to the visual design, and we didn't know this in the beginning, we thought it was just going to be the visual design, but we had to go through four or five rounds of manufacturing to get what we wanted because the first ones, you know, they were kind of basically women's hair ties with our designs on them. And we were looking for a very particular feel and stretch and Well, and everything. I, what's so cool is that you guys went to Joanne's Fabrics and you actually tested them out and you made the first ones. Yep. Like, so there was research and development that you guys did, which yeah, I think so is we super bought, cool. You know, we, yeah, we, we bought a bunch of, uh, what's the? Elastic. Elastics, <laughs> all the different types of elastics that they had there and just played with stuff and we we came across a few we're like okay this is close and then we were working closely with another group creative priority guys down here in san diego really specialize in this kind of stuff 
and uh, they were really able to hone in like, okay, what we liked about those and then actually help formulate a blend that was like even better than we ever could have imagined. Yeah. Well, and you guys have shipped, I think, to what, 30 states and 17 countries? I mean, yeah. these things are the flying reach, off the- The reach is, the, is out there, you know, off guys- Off corporate office. These. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're shipping hair ties to Australia, United Kingdom, Spain, Poland, India, Saudi Arabia, uh, I think it is 17 countries now is the total, and you know that's showing that it, there there was a need and that we're we're filling a need. Well, six collections. Do you have any? Are you creating more things? You guys probably have some more products that you will be launching. So we want to definitely. Can you give us an exclusive? Yeah, yeah. We <laughs> we want to expand the you know the collections here, give some more variety. We even want to get into just. We've had a lot of requests just for straight colors. Oh, like, that's, yeah. You know, guys are like, let's just get some like brown and blue and like whatever going. So those will be in the mix too. And honestly, the design is like endless. Like we're gonna have just <laughs> unlimited amount of ideas and stuff that are gonna be getting put onto these little babies. I love that. And the other thing I really like about you guys is there's a giving back aspect to your company. So I know that you guys are involved in several different things. I know um, the Locks of Love, Long Hairs Do Care. Yeah. So talk to the viewers a little bit about that giving back aspect. All right. So contrary to popular opinion, Long Hairs, in fact, do care. <laughs> and that is our charitable outreach, Long Hairs Do Care. And you may be familiar with organizations like Locks of Love, which is the charitable organization that we donate to, uh, which they create synthetic, excuse me, real hair wigs for children who are affected with some type of long-term hair loss. Uh, it could be cancer or there's a lot of different ailments, but Locks of Love will take donations of real human hair, eight inches or longer, you cut off your ponytail and you mail it in and they create these wigs for kids. And you know, especially for young girls, it really helps to restore their self-esteem. Your, your self-image is uh, very important as a, as a child. So uh, we, we actually learned of a significant percentage of the men who follow us grow their hair out for the specific reason, just oh, wow. to donate it to charity. Yeah. And they go through this cool. cycle of growing it, cutting it, donating it, and growing it back out. And so we really wanted to gravitate towards that and be a part of it. So $1 from every purchase on our website, the men's aisle goes to Locks of Love and that we make a so monthly awesome. donation. Oh, good job, guys. Thank you. I love that. Yeah. yeah, give me back, good stuff. Okay, so I have asked these fabulous men today to give tips to our viewers. So a lot of our male viewers have long hair, so I thought you guys could do some tips. So I think we're gonna do a demo of something to start, right? Yeah, we'll do, we'll do, we'll do, I'll do a quick <laughs> one for you. You know, you see it all over the place. Everyone talks about the man bun, right? Uh, oh, we're not supposed to say man bun, right? Is that you like- You know, whatever, you could call it whatever you want. We really don't push for that name. We feel like that name was given to that style from women. So like, you know, guys never really got a chance to name it. Like, who, well, who does name, long, I don't know. What, like, we saw that as another opportunity to make really cool content that where we could kind of take our ownership back of some of these names of these hairstyles and add cool stuff to it. So, you know, we just do not call it a man bun. We call it a highball. And high the inspiration ball. behind that is, you know, when you're drinking a nice whiskey glass, a nice fine whiskey, what do you, what do you put it in? You put it in a highball glass. So that was like our inspiration for that name. And it just Manly. works too. I like that. It, it totally works. So the highball is pretty easy. It's uh, one of the easier ones to do. Just grab all of your hair here. You know, you got to make sure you get it all in the back, on the sides, all that. You know, kind of just make sure you're check. looking uh, looking good up top too. And then you just grab it all, get out of here, and just start twisting it up. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of different technique for the twist, but I personally use my left hand to hold things down and my right to twist it up. And then it kind of just twists into itself. And then you just wrap it all around. And then and you it got your... Have to be perfect. It, it's good no, to be it's, messy. That's the perfect It's thing. cool to be messy, for sure. You got your trusty hair tie for guy. <laughs> or you just wrap it around a couple times and boom. You're good to go. And that is the highball. Highball. And how it. high can the highball go? As high as you want, you know? You can have it sitting up top. If you're sleeping, sometimes it's good to have it even like right up here. 
you got to get creative with it. Like, that's just what's so fun about having hair is mess around, figure out cool stuff that you could do, you know? You got to be pumped about it. Try new things. Yeah, got to try new things. I love that. And then would, what about you? Do you have a tip for us, for the male viewers? Uh, yeah, I won't do a specific demonstration. We have a lot of video tips on how to do different things, different braids, different ties, different uh, things that you could do with your hair. But just in general, the biggest tip is, you know, if you're growing your hair out or if you have long hair, the first thing we go back to is for thousands of years, you know, some of the coolest guys, leaders, politicians, warriors, scientists, athletes, musicians have had long hair. And it's only been over the past 100 or 150 years that long hair has kind of developed this perception of being unprofessional or hippie or whatever the case may be. And that's part of our advocate is, you know, we're down for the long hair and you can be a successful professional with long hair. You can be a CEO or a, just a successful business person, whatever your you know, life may take you, uh, you should be able to do it with long hair. So really just, you know, try some different things out. The number one tip is to, you gotta take care of your hair. If you are growing your hair long, that means you like your hair, which means you wanna take care of your hair. And the goal is not to damage it or cause breakage because that stops it from growing fast and it creates a lot of other problems. It makes it look bad. You don't want that and we don't want that. <laughs> so you don't need to be a hair expert, but there's a few things every guy with long hair needs to know and that's the type of stuff that we cover on our site with our content. Well, and their blog is fabulous. I mean, you gotta check it out. Like, I use the wet brush. They have something on the wet brush for men. I mean, they've got great tips, so you have to go to the site. So that points me to how do we get people to, if they, if they wanna buy your, fa your product, they wanna learn more about you, where do they go? Let's tell them. So visit our website. It's thelonghairs.us. You'll find some great stuff there. Quick tips is, like I said, the quick tips that for every guy with long hair. You've also got the men's aisle exclusively for men where you will find hair ties for guys, these lids for your locks and soon to be some other product lines that we're gonna be coming out with. Also visit our YouTube channel. We got yeah. a lot of great videos, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, we're on all the social channels, but the longhairs.us is our uh, main online headquarters. Well, and we'll have that on our site too, but check these guys out. The long hair is amazing, love you guys. So before we go today, I want you to show the viewers a hair whip, because we are, we've been talking about this hair whip, how to whip your hair if you've got long hair. So let's do it. Let's let our freak flags fly. Gotta have some music, so you got that? All right, let's, what do we? We got a little something cute up here. Oh yeah. So guys, very important when you're getting ready for a hair whip, check for obstructions, look around, neck warm ups, and. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's that, right with, there. With my long Get the circle going. <laughs> <laughs> I will <Whoa>. say. <laughs> we went, you gotta we be went cautious. Out. It's easy to get dizzy and fall over or really strain the neck. Oh my so, God, you guys are awesome. You wanna loosen that neck up. <gasps> I love sure. it. Uh, we're so, breaking things we in here, people. The couch hey, up. it's not a party until something gets broken. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for coming in. Honestly, you have to check out this fabulous company. I love that it's a movement. It's not just a brand. Check it out. And you guys, thank you so much for coming. We had so much fun with you guys. Longhands.us. Thanks, <gasps> Thanks to the polls. Appreciate it. Great times. Yeah. We'll see you next time on the polls. Bye. Shoot. Oh my God, that is so funny.